Hello, I'm Carolina Rapuz and I'm going to talk about SFM using affine correspondences. Methods for extracting good quality ACs are readily available. ACs enable to match regions across frames. However, SFM schemes only use the centers of the regions as point correspondences and the affine information is discarded. Besides giving the matching of regions across frames, what do ACs tell us more about the scene? Consider an AC consisting of an affine mapping A and a point correspondence XY. It was shown that A is a Jacobian of the homography induced by the plane pi, which is tangent to the surface in the point of correspondence. This leads to our first contribution, which is a new insight on the rep representation of the homography induced by an AC. By performing a simple change of variables, we are able to define a two-parameter family of homographies that includes the homography induced by the plane pi. Then, from the compatibility equation, we reach our second contribution by showing that the essential matrix can be determined from a minimum of two ACs instead of, of five PCs, and the fundamental matrix can be estimated from three ACs. This is an important result as it provides a new type of minimal solutions that significantly reduces the possible number of combinations in RANSAC schemes. This allows us to deal with strong deformations as shown in this experiment. We show the camera trajectories on the right and in liars and outliers in blue and red. This example shows that the strong pedestrian motion causes the five-point algorithm to fail in correctly identifying outliers, yielding a large error in the trajectory in black. Moving forward, both trajectories perform similarly, up to a point where the five-point method selects points on the pedestrian as in liars. This causes a gross error in the trajectory, which takes an impossible turn to the right. It can be seen that our method is systematically more robust to dynamic scenes and that the five-point scheme tends to select moving points as uh, in liars, as shown in these frames. In the next case, there are very few correspondences on rigid background and so the majority of selected in liars by the five-point method belong to a moving object. This causes the black trajectory to make an incorrect turn to the left. So, to summarize, our method provides a plausible trajectory shown in green, whereas the five-point algorithm yields an impossible trajectory. The fact that our method is much more robust to dynamic foreground if this is the clear advantage of decreasing the combinatorics of the problem. Another relevant contribution is a derivation of four necessary conditions for two ACs to belong to the same scene plane. These constraints provide a direct metric to cluster coplanar ACs, avoiding the need to generate homography hypotheses and thus enabling much faster plane segmentation schemes, as shown in the next experiment. So, we compare two methods that perform multimodal fitting with a method that makes use of our proposed direct metric to create a matrix of similarities, which is used as input to the affinity propagation clustering scheme. Besides being much faster than the competing methods, this example shows the clear superiority of our approach. In the next case, the linkage seems to, to correctly segment the four scene planes, but tends to over-segment, which is undesirable. In this example, it, 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 it can be seen that there is image blur and still our method is able to correctly segment the scene planes. The last example shows that our method is the only one that is able to segment the small faraway plane, and so providing a better uh, segmentation. Thank you.